God douche, Joy Moss, Bad Boy MTG. Welcome to those who like to be entertained. We're going to talk about repacks. Repacks, repacks, repacks. Repacks basically are, is a seller trying to dump their collection or a scammer trying to just make as much money as possible and sell you some dream that there is the, these amazing cards that you could possibly get your hands on when there's really no chance in hell. So I like to expose those people. So what we're doing here is purchasing uh, a total of 20. I got 20, this is all foil. I like doing these ones, these all foil ones, which are pretty freaking neat. We're gonna total it all up, see if it's really worth it to buy this one. This guy has a lot for sale, but he sold a lot of these already and his feedback is not gone to crap. So at 98.8%, usually when I buy something, when I'm not dealing with repacks, I look for 99.94% or something like 99.4% and above. Like I'm really, really anal when it comes to that, okay? And I think it's important, um, most buyers are, okay? But when it comes to repack sellers, they, they're, they're, uh, they're selling what 95% of repacks are, absolute crap, okay? So for him to get 98.8% out of 614 sold, plus he has other items, I think is kind of cool. Now, here's just an image. That's all you get to see. This is a whole, I actually have a couple of these, um, like a four or five row filled with foils like that. It's pretty insane. I'm, I wonder if I have more than that, I don't know. Um, maybe I should start doing repacks myself, but I, if I ever do that, I'll let you guys know and I'll just probably sell them to patrons and whatnot, but they'll be legit, you know, like you'll get some value out of them. Moving forward, this guy is called do, 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 Vish Dog. This is Vish Dog, okay? This auction is for a Magic the Gathering repack of 10 cards that are all foil. This is a great way for players to start a cool collection without spending all the money to buy booster packs. It's also great for people who want to. Uh, to do a new draft experience as the cards are packed in such a way that you cannot see what's in them until you open them. Cool. Every pack will contain one foil rare, one foil basic land, two foil uncommons, and six foil commons. Each pack will have a good mix of colors and at least one card of each color, and each of my packs will never have any duplicates. We'll see about that, pal. Okay, so I bought 20 of these. We're going to crack open 20 of these. I'll leave this right here. If you want to read the rest of it, go ahead. Just pause it up and take a look. That all being said, let's see if this seller, Vish Dog, Vish Dog, it kind of sounds familiar. I don't know if I bought from, well, recently I have, obviously. Sounds a little familiar, though. All right, anyway, let's get up into cracking this open. Uh, let me spend my money so you don't have to. Again, any repacks you see that I purchase in these videos in this series doesn't mean you go out and buy them, okay? Sometimes I get lucky. Most of the time, I do not. In my personal opinion, repacks are a scam. I'm with the show. Total was, uh, oh goodness, total was like 70 some dollars. There was some uh, tax and shipping included, but yeah, they were about three bucks each. This might take a lot of tally up, too. Okay, shrink. What? What? That is foil. It just didn't look foil. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm like, wait, that's not foil. So these go way back. Yeah, all over the place. All freaking over the map. Hey, there you go. Ragged, ragged veins. Ragged vines. Veins. Vines. Vein vine. This is my recent one, Youthful Night. Very, very cool. Um, there's a Hellkite Charger. We got Mr. Hellkite Charger and its foilness. So that's uh, our rare... And then Uncommon is the Vampire Warlord. Hey, vampires are coming out. Might be a thing, man. Who knows? Might be worth some. Gold Forge Sentinel. Probably nothing. And the Foil Forest with Haunted Fengraf. Haunted Fengraf. Okay. And don't forget Leaf Crown Dryad. So, first one. I mean, remember, we paid three bucks. I probably got more than $3 value out of there. I'm not going to add up all the cards, like all the bulk, you know, like 25 cents and everything. It'll take way too long. But I, I will add up, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe anything above 25 cents. I don't I don't know what I'll do. We'll do something. We'll figure it out. Um, Archangel. Love that card. Fun to look at. Flying Vigilance 5-5. Five, five. Massive 
casting costs, though. Hey, look at this. Uh, Flame can Spitfire. See how that shines? It's a beautiful shiner. Oh, Extinguish All Hope Foil. Destroy all non-enchantment creatures. I mean, that could be a cool board wipe. You know, one-sided. Golgari Brown Scale from Ultimate Masters. And hey, Solidarity from way back in the day from Urza's Destiny. That's what I'm talking about. Seeing a foil from way back in the freaking day. And, I mean, it's got its curve going on. It's probably, uh, at worst, light play. You know, it's got a little little love on the back. Not too much. But that's cool. A freaking foil Urza's Destiny card. And still Infection. That'll get me excited. I'm excited. Whisk away. And then we have Goblin Assailant. That's all she wrote for that one. So there's a lot of variety. I'm going to put that one over here. That's just pretty neat. Um, and I'll separate the rares really quick, too. It's hard to know what all is worth. Uh, some dough. Obviously, the rare and uncommon are more than likely going to bring in a bit more value than the others. So I'm going to go a little quicker here because we have a lot to go through. Red Crap, Red, Red Crap Raiders. And there's Advanced Hover Guard. Red Crap Raiders. Sorry, guys. Foul Imp. Mmm. Foul Impy. With Ch -ch 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 Sarah, Disciple. So we're sitting, we're hitting a lot of bulk here. This is uh, kind of expected. Plummet. Well, remember, only $3 each. It's about less than the price of a pack. Rocks. We got rocks. Foil. There you go. Big old six drop, dude. Um, with the retro foil. That looks nice. I like these older foils, man. They look great. Uh, we got uh, Instable Heart. Instable. Insatiable. That was way off. Sleep and Forest with Moonglove Extract. Extract your Moongloves, guys. Get them today. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just going to throw these in piles. Who cares? We have a lot to go through, though. Like, there is a lot here. Um, Mr. Gravelhide, dude. With Chasm Drake. Come on. Give me some mighty nastiness. Midnight Recovery. These foils do look pretty good in here. Another is Urza's Destiny foil. Dude, that's what's up, man. Cool. I mean, these might be... This is the second set ever to have foils in booster packs. That's pretty freaking cool. And we got two of those already. Stout-Hearted Warrior with Indulgent Tormentor. One of my favorite demons right there. I love him, dude. He's cool. If only his toughness wasn't three. Still like him, though. I still like him for him. Whoa, back in the day again, Fatal Mutation. You know, I'm a big fan of the old border foils. I really am. So this is kind of cool to see all this. Uh, Rake Claw, Gargantuan, Gargantuan. I think I have that one already. Kind of weird. We have a lot to go. Oh, my goodness, guys. You guys bought any repacks recently? Were there any crap like this? Um, right now, I don't have any complaints. We spent we we spent three dollars and we're getting uh, foils from the very beginning of Magic. Whether they're worth a hex ton or not, I mean, has yet to be determined. But I highly doubt they are. I highly doubt those ones are worth anything. Uh, Golden Glow Moth. Oh, that looks fun, huh? Looks like a little 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 ribbon or bow tie. All right, we got Tangle Spider. These are all foils. Every last card. Haphazard Bombardment. Fun card to play with on Arena. There you go. Haphazard Bombardment. Probably not worth a darn. We'll put that in the rare pile. Uh, there's a Giam de Tome. Sure, I'll say that wrong every day for the rest of my life. Rockcaster Platoon. Big casting cost on that. Mm-hmm. And Island with uh, Scuttle Gator. The Scuttle Gator. <laughs> Scuttle Gator. <laughs> it's a Scuttle Gator. Hey, what do you want from me? All right, here we go. We got uh, Mr. Ogre, Bulkage. What else? Hey, another Urza's Destiny, man. Telepathic Spies. Again, I mean, and, and down the road, these are probably going to be more and more sought after. If, he, if there's one Urza's Legacy in here, I'll oh, crap. But this is really cool to see these. That's three already. And there's other, like, just old, old foils in here. Again, they might not they might not be worth over a buck any of those yet, you know, but I still like it. I like it. I like that fact. Ho ho baby. Shel uh sheltering word. There you go. <clears throat> From Avison. And then look at this. Thorn Elemental Foil 7th Edition. 
Isn't that worth something? Maybe. I don't know. But that's cool, man. It's a 7th edition rare foil. What? That, that, that screams value to me. I don't know. I mean, it might be 4 or $5, but that's great. Oh, crap. <clears throat> okay. It might be a dollar. I don't know. Evolutionary armor. Graveyard shovel. A lot of variety here. Um, for $3 a pack, I'm impressed right now. Um, I am very, very impressed. I will say that. I am very impressed. And we're not going to add up all the value here, but I'm going to add up some of the card value. And holy crap, man. Yeah, a lot of old stuff. Really cool. Uh, Skitter Eel. There you go, Skitter Eel. What else we got? Bone Splinters. Sure. Come on, show me the value, baby. There's an old one, too. Soul Charmer. It's almost like he throws one real old one in each of these uh, repacks, which is pretty cool. There's uh, Inner Calm, Outer Strength. from some Kamigawa stuff back in the day. Really neat. Uh, there's a Burning Suns Avatar. I actually had a misprint foil of this, which was pretty neat. I think I gave it away, though. It was really cool. It was really cool. All right, there we go. We got Caustic uh, Tar. Sure. Channel Land has. Tap target player loses three life. Oh, it's six, though. Kind of cool. And then we got equip creature gets plus four, plus two. To equip, sacrifice a creature. That's pretty brutal. Island and Primal Clay. There you go. That sums it all up. On to the next one. So, yeah. Uh, let's try to hit some more old stuff, huh? Let's get some more old stuff. There's a mirror quadropod. The art on that just looks fun. Isn't that dark steel? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, we got the foil mountain. It looks like a lot of foils came from Shadows Over Innistrad. There's Desperate Stand. This is a this is a, this is fun so far. Homicidal Brute, big dude, it's getting crazy, man. Uh, Civilized Scholar on the front. This is regular Innistrad, if I'm not mistaken. And then we have ourselves a foil Armament Master. <clears throat> other core creatures you control get plus two plus two for each equipment attached to you. Armament Master. <clears throat> That's other ones though. That's kind of a stupid card. All right. Anyway, we'll watch I'm wrong about that. Wood Readers. Wood Readers. Along with Star Avon. Lose Hope. Sure. Defy Gravity. And Drooling Ogre. Get a load of that dude. Scary sauce. Okay. Um, no crazy old ones there. Still hoping for more Urza's, <laughs> Urza foils. Of course I am. Uh, there we go. Some Origins. And then we got uh, whatever this is, River Cajun, Cajun, Kai, Kaijin. I like I like some Kayan's ghost pepper sauce. Death Mask Nezumi. I like hot stuff. You guys like hot stuff? I love me some hot stuff, man. Some fire. Uh, I had some ghost pepper stuff like a couple weeks ago. My mouth was on fire, man. It was so freaking hot. I loved it, and then I hated it. It almost made me nauseous. It was so hot. Uh, Chameleon Blur. It made me nauseous. It was that hot. There's original Time Spiral. Cool. Academy Elite in foil. Look at this. A little choir all happy. Oh, they, they shine nice. Look at that. That's a nice shine. Okay. Pale Rider. Pale Rider of Trostad. Trostad, whatever. Nilia's Emissary. Okay. Mountain. And lastly, Giant Hawk Idol. Giant Hawk Idol. We got quite a few to go. Um, I'm not even taking my time. I'm just going through this pretty quickly. There's just a lot. Iron Bully. Watch out for them. Uh, Foil Mountain. What set is that? A Fire and Ice thing or something? Can't remember. That looks cool, though. And then we have Sunblade Elf as an uncommon. Cool, cool. Sunblade Elf. And this dude. Uh, Insatiable Harpy. Flying in the lifelink. Four drop, though. Yikes. With a Hostile Desert. That's our uh, rare uh, foil. Pretty cool. A whole lot of... Uh... I think there's some decent value here. Bond Beetle. Fun to look at. Ivory Giant. Psychic Spear. Whoops, let me drop that one. Psychic Spear. Crazy art on that. Magnetic Flux. Some of these, man. Artifact creatures you control game. Flying on the turn. Some of these I've never even seen before. And there's uh, an Eldrazi drone. I would imagine this was just a complete bulk right here. Okay. Come on. We were doing pretty hot with that uh, Urza stuff. Let's go back to them days, huh? There we go. We got M11. Or show me another uh, 7. Show me a 7. 
um, 7th edition. Dreamcatcher. I think we already pulled that one, didn't we? From Kamigawa or whatever. There's Essence Drain. Maybe that's Dark Steel. I don't know. There's a lot of sets going on here. Oof. This dude carrying uh, well, some banners or something. Running some streamers. Right? Carrying streamers. Uh, Mutant's Prey. Foil from Dragon's Maze. Cultivator of Blades from Kaladash. With the fabrication stuff going on. Probably bulk, though. Air Servants, sure. Dime a dozen. Consigned to Dust. Is that golden background? Those are leaves. Oh, that dude's old. It's like a like a volcano exploded, and that's their that's what's left over. Mountain and Cathodian. I always thought this one was worth something, but it's not. I think it was before the reprints in Ultimate Masters, but not no more. Okay. Flipping and skipping. Reign of Rust. There you go. Reign of Rust. Even that one's pretty old. The Reign of Rust, when was that from? 2004. Yeah, it's older, man. Wall of Runes. Destroy the evidence. Silver Chase Fox. Come on, baby. And Roar of Jukai. War of Jukai. Captain's Hook. There you go. I pulled him a few times. I got excited when I first saw that, but it's not actual Captain Hook. You know, it's just the Captain's Hook. You know, so I'm like, oh, okay, it's not that great. Trigon of Infestation from Scars. We got the Instinct. And a Swampy from Cons and Savage Smash, which I think is our second Savage Smash. We purchased a lot, so I would I would expect duplication. You know, we purchased a lot. <clears throat> There's gotta be some duplication. Uh Beckon Apparition. We purchased 20 of these. Holy crap. Beacon Apparition. Beckon? Whatever. Hey, look at that. That's from something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's going to be hard to find all those. Bloodfire Enforcers. What's our sweet rare? A Rust Tick. And Living Twister. Disappointing right there. I remember I got a little excited when I first saw this card. Not anymore. Not anymore. Silvac Explorer. The dude's like a centipede all dressed up. That's how he goes out. It's a little party outfit. Emergence Caved. Mind Rot. Sift. And Shatter Skull Recruit. Nothing nuts. Okay. We're nearing uh we're nearing third. We're almost at third. Third base. Thundering Giant. Shrink. The Passwall Adept. With Flesh Grafter. Some of these could have a, like a you know a buck here, two bucks there. Who knows? Core uh sanctifiers. And for the most part, they're in. Dece condition. They're not like beat up really bad or nothing. Burr Grafter. There you go. Wolf Briar Elemental. Don't see that one too often. That's cool. I don't know, at least. I'm sure it's bulk. Dusk Mantle Prowler. Prowler? Prowler. Ooh, Briber's Purse. From that's from Cons of Tarkir. I remember seeing that card. I opened a few boxes of that. Island and Armored Transport. Okay. Armor transport. Come on, I want to see some of that old stuff. Like, man, it, it was like all in, in the beginning, it seemed. Urza, Urza, and then nothing. I'm like, oh, screeching skeeb. Uh, some more of the origins or something? Maybe. No. What is it? Murray? I don't know. No, that. Oh, whoa, 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 buddy. Shield Mage Advocate. God, those just look so nice. Come on, how? It's like, how did they go from this to this? Like, look at the difference in these foils, man. And this was only a few years later. You know, this just looks so good. This looks so good. I love it. Freaking amaze sauce. Here, put that over the sweetness. Yeah, you get it. You get, I don't care which pile you're going, honestly. Uh, oh, plated spider. Yeah, more old stuff. Urza's Destiny. I'm sure it might be 50 cents, maybe a dollar, but whatever. Still really freaking cool seeing these old ones. The Bendature is no joke, though. So freaking sweet. Flood of Tears, that's right, Crimea River. That's right, Crimea River, Flood of Tears, there it is. M20, mm-hmm. Uh, Bloodshot Trainee, the Water Servant, a Plains, and the old Marauders. Okay. Still, on the move here. Um, excited that we got another Urza's Destiny card. That was cool. And there's some more of this Kamigawa era stuff. Wind Drake. Uh, Maze of Abomination. Sure. Wall of Faith. 
We got a snare spinner, a little spider weaving. Archon of the Triumvirate. Thought this card maybe went up in price recently, a tiny, tiny bit. Not much. It was a while ago, probably like a year ago. I don't know. It went up a tiny, tiny bit. Undercity Shade. I could be terribly wrong about that. <laughs> Second guess. Foil Planes from back in the day. That looks nice. See how beautiful that is? Breathtaking. Breathtaking. And a single blessing. Even that one looks nice. That has a nice pop to it right there. I like how the gold just shimmers on these cards. All right, we got about maybe seven, eight packs left, so hold on to your butts. Hey, Trump Blast. Bada bing, Trumpet Blast from Urza's Destiny again. I'm really enjoying these old ones. There's some whatever. Another Urza's two and one, Squirming Mass. Isn't Squirming Mass one of the better ones? Maybe not. I might be confusing that with some, but oh, man. Yeah, these look so good. You gotta wonder what happened. <laughs> why did they? Why did the foils go downhill so bad? You know, this card's like twenty years old, guys. Twenty-two years old or something. Twenty-two years old, and it's not. It, there's cards nowadays that that curve a lot worse. It just looks so much better, man. Two Urza's Destiny, one pack. That's freaking sweet. Uh, and we got Hunt the Weak foil with Erratic Cyclops foil. Probably not bringing much value there. Assassin Strike. Dude hiding out. The Tome. Forest from M15. And Obelisk of Esper. There you go. There we go. Okay. Oh, boy. I, hey, every time I see the old ones, just like, yes. Obelisk of Grixis. Okay, that was cool. Obelisk, Obelisk of Grixis with a foil forest. And Phyrexian Hulk from M13. Tons of variety across the way. Tavern Swindler. I feel like I pulled her a few times in the last month. Uh, Roll Reversal. Yeah, it's not, probably not worth too much. Eh, maybe. Maybe a buck. Roll Reversal. Cillian Elf. If I'm saying that right, sure. Uh, Disposed Mummy. Phyrexian Monitor Foil. Dude, we got like five or six common... Foils from Urza's Destiny. I was not expecting that today. I'm happy just by that alone. Another one. Wild Colas. Wow. We got about six. Yeah. Whoa, man. Beautiful. I I uh I doubt I'll get my money back on this one, but a personal take, I mean, I really like it. I'm really liking this one. And uh reason being is the old the old stuff, the old uh foils, man. Look at this, M10. Like every every set, there's so many different sets that we've dished out so far. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> Quite a few of these I've noticed. A lot of the old stuff, which is really nice. <clears throat> Some Outrider. And then we got Abhorrent Overlord. Our rare slot hasn't been that great. I can't be 100% on that, but I'm pretty sure. Naya Battle Mage. The Glaze. Halcyon Glaze. Island, Senate Griffin. Oh, okay. We have, from what I see, five left. Let's get some fire, baby. Let me shrek. Plains. Uh, Rites of Reaping. Cool. With Ripscale Predator. And Jace's Mindseeker, M14. That's the rare. Cool foil. Colossal Dread Maw. One of the meme cards. Goes around. People on Reddit are like flipping out about it. Cool card. Avon Farseer. Wow. Another old school foil. They just look so much better than the new foils. Am I right? Or am I mean? Come on. I'm right. You can't even argue. It's not even an argument. It's not even an opinion. They just look so much better. Oracle of Dust and Fury Charm. Yeah. They just look so much freaking better. Here we go. Shrink. We got Crasher. Oh, Raven Guild Initiate. Man, when I hit these, I just want to pause and just take a moment to really get a good look at how amazing they used to be. <laughs> All right. Viper's Kiss. Whatever that is. Rubble Hulk and the Thundering Saratok. Rubble Hulk is our rare from uh, Gate Crash. There you go. Shrink. Devout 
Chaplain, uh, Chaplain, uh, Overwhelm, cool, Plains, and Steward of Valoran, okay, we have three to go, unless one else is hiding somewhere, but so far I see three to go, Mirror Moon Vessel, mm -mm -mm, Swampy, with Winter Flame, and uh, Bra Brawler's Plate, okay, Come on, old stuff. Daring Archaeologist. That is ultimate bulk for the rare. <laughs> that is really bulky rare right there. Uh, we got Kami. Otherworldly Journey. With the Blister Beetle. Crackling Triton. And the Flame. Whew. Okay. Wow. We've opened a lot. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you made it this far, definitely uh, take a moment. Hit that like. Uh, for the Krark Clan Stoker. Krark Clan Stoker. Shark Clan Stoker. It says it all, man. It says it all. One more Urza's card, and I'm feeling amazing. One more Urza card. Scuttling. Bar the door. With uh, some bulk. Let's call it, let's call it bulk. Um, there's Conquering Manticore. I don't think there's many Manticores worth a whole lot. Maybe one. Maybe one Manticore in existence worth a darn. Praying Questions. Wall of Swords. A mountain and the bracers. There's there are some bracers that are worth something. I can't remember if those are those ones or not, but if it's that if it's those braces or not, but probably not. All right. Then we got carry on thrash. I actually have one of those in foil already. I know it's nuts. M10 Swampy. With the bloody blood fray giant. Wow. Um this was pretty cool. As far as getting your value back, if you're from that standpoint, Ravnica at War, I don't know if we did or not. I kind of doubt it because a lot of these cards I recognize. And usually when a lot I recognize, it's like, okay, well, there's really nothing that stands out then. But the cool thing is us getting all of the older cards. <clears throat> there might be a couple more in here I'm going to go through. But yeah, here's what I mean. Here's some of the older stuff. These ones just look really cool. And now they're in my, my personal collection, which is sweet. Um, the majority, probably under a buck, you know, or something, but, yeah, man, they just look really nice, and, uh, that put a happy smile on my face, so, I don't know if, I, I can't be 100% until I tally it all up, but, I like it, man, I give them two thumbs up, um, just because of the variety of foils, um, the variety of sets, all over the place, and there was quite a decent amount of the older, you know, stuff from Urza and even like the, the first, you know, like 10 years of magic or the first, I should say, the first five years I started doing foils. There's a lot of that in here. So that's pretty cool. So, yeah, um, I'm not saying go run out and buy from him, but I'm saying I, I wouldn't. Uh, he didn't disappoint me. That's all I'm saying. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm Joey Moss. Bad boy MTG. Skadoosh. Oh.